welcome back to our 10-week yoga series. We are on week six. If it is your first time joining us, welcome. My name is Renee. I'm your, I'll be your yoga instructor. This class is kind of designated as a, a senior yoga program, but it's also welcome to beginners. People who have never done yoga before are just recently getting into the practice. We welcome everybody. Even if you're an advanced person, you're like, girl, I need to chill out. Chill with me today. It's only a 45 minute session. Um, if you have any kind of yoga props, feel free to have them near you. I have extra yoga props. I even have some to the side where you guys can see. So whatever you have, be resourceful. You don't really need a strap for today's practice, but if you feel that you need it, use it, right? So today I'm, I am gonna be using a scarf um, to be utilized as a pillow. Um, if you have a pillow, a nice big fluffy pillow, whatever your favorite pillow, feel free to use that or a blanket. Um, because we're going to be doing some fun stuff. I think this is going to be my favorite class. I hope it's your favorite class as well. Um, we, these classes are provided thanks to Linden Rec Center. So if you are enjoying these classes, just as always, we ask that you call and just kind of let us know that you are participating. That way we can continue this program for the fall. Okay, so this is week six. So afterwards, we only have four more weeks and then uh, we have to decide if we're doing fall. So please uh, call and let them know that you are participating and enjoying these classes if there's something you wanna see different. Um, we are gonna get started today. This is so funny. I'm so excited for this. So we're gonna get started today with legs up the wall, right? So that's a, a, like a yogi term um, where basically you are leaning close to the wall and your legs are up the wall. Or this is where the fun part comes in, okay? Or you take a chair or the couch and you bring your body as close as you can to the couch. So you're sitting next to the couch, okay? And you're gonna go ahead and lay back, turn the body so the feet, the calves can be supported on the couch, okay? And I know we used to get in trouble when we were kids, like literally everyone's done this. You probably did it while you were on the couch and legs up on the back of the couch and we all got yelled at for it. So. I think this is like the universal sign that we've all done this. So just bringing you back to that sensation, back to that feeling. I am gonna play the singing bowl. Um, just kind of honor any feelings, emotions that do come up. The idea of what the singing bowl is as I play it, the frequencies, the vibration, is gonna also kind of vibrate the water that you have internally. So if you're hydrated, you're really gonna feel it. If you're dehydrated, maybe you just had a cup of coffee. You'll still feel it, but not as much, okay? Um, so just kind of be cautious of the volume on your TV as well. Um, but let's start with the legs up the wall, okay? So it's either the legs are straight up the wall, right? Or you can just be here, okay? Or you can put a bunch of pillows underneath you to support the feet or put your feet up the couch. I feel like that's a, a nostalgic feeling, right? Where we, we've all done that, okay? Um, and uh, just go ahead and prepare yourself. You can put the head underneath um, a pillow or something, anything that feels comfortable. So I'm gonna get started with the singing bowl meditation. Just relax the muscles in the face, relax the legs, relax the shoulders, close the eyes and find your heartbeat. You can rest the hands onto the belly or maybe one hand onto belly, onto heart, whatever feels good. Okay, inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. And I want you to keep this breathing technique the whole time in through the nose and out through the mouth.
Bring your awareness to your feet. Can you press the bottoms of the feet into the back of the couch? Or just imagine if your feet are straight up um, face, um, along the wall or facing the ceiling. Just try to imagine that you're holding something at the bottoms of the feet. You feel a cushion. You feel a cloud. Use your imagination. And that's what today's class is going to be about. Just kind of coming back to your roots, coming back to your playful self. Press your low back down to the ground, so you're kind of tucking the tailbone. And acknowledge that same sensation of tucking the tailbone, so the low back is pressing down to the mat. Do the same thing with the calves. Press the calves down into that support. But it's not active, like we're going to lift ourselves up. We're just finding the connection points that are supporting us here. Press the shoulders down. And if you want to open the arms up, if you have that space available to you, feel free to do so. Open the arms out. Palms down if you feel like you need grounding. Palms up if you feel like you need abundance. I personally never know what I need, so I always have one hand up, one hand down, so my hands always look like this. Let's take 10 grounding breaths here, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Relaxing the muscles in the face. Last two breaths. Just kind of wiggle the toes. If you want to keep your socks on, keep your socks on. If you want to take your socks off, a little wiggle the toes. And draw the heels in toward you so that in turn makes the knees come in toward you. Bring the heels in as far as you can so the knees come in as far as they can. And then stretch them out going back up the chair, up the wall. Bend the knees, bring them in. And back out. One more time. From here, we're going to do the same thing, just one heel at a time. Draw that right heel in toward you. Lengthen. That's two. And three. Bring it back out and switch sides. Just going to draw the heel in. So we're using our hip flexor, we're using our core, our leg muscles to support us here. So even though this seems very gentle, like, what am I doing? I promise this is good for the body. We're working that fascia. So the fascia is the outer layer that covers the bones, the muscles, everything. We're kind of melting that fascia, kind of like butter as we move here. Okay, from here, go into butterfly. So bring the bottoms of the feet together and allow the chair to support you here. You'll notice like a hooking sensation on the outer edges of the knees. And 
and go ahead and come back. So the knees and the feet are hip width apart. Draw the right heel in toward you. Take the hands behind that right thigh and straighten the leg up toward the sky. We're gonna point and flex. Create circles, honoring any organic movement that comes to you. Move the foot in every single direction you can. Even if you feel like you can't, I totally feel limited when I go out, but we move them in every direction. You can have a bigger bend in the knee, whatever feels good here. Beautiful. From here, we're going to turn and pivot, bend, uh, hinging from the hip, so bending the knee out to the side, resting the heel either on the top of the knee as so, or for some support here, or you'll allow the knee, um, um, the ankle to rest on the top of the knee area, base of the thigh. And just stay here, allow this right knee to open out. You don't have to press, but if you wanna just gently press away, keyword gently press away. I'll be here for five breaths. Take your right hand to the top of that right thigh and just kind of guide that right leg along. So it's like you're crossing your legs here. Okay. Maybe from here with that left hand, just gently, super gentle, push away. So maybe not even push is the right word to use, but just kind of slide that left hand down the thigh. So it's going to help just guide all this to open up here. The foot can hang down if you want to utilize a block and rest the foot onto the block. Feel free to do so. Keep in mind you have different settings of your blocks, right? So whatever setting you need to feel comfortable, find your setting. That backbone is still resting down on the mat. If you want a little bit more here, take your left hand to the outside of that right leg and just guide it in along you. So again, you're gonna feel all this open up in that back area. One more breath. And you're gonna come right back up to where we were, our figure four. And we're gonna go ahead and straighten the leg and straighten it out completely. Release down, back to be supported. Setting up for the opposite side, draw that left heel in toward you. And you can take the hands to the back of the thigh, point and flex, bring that foot in every direction. It's always the left ankle that cracks and pops for me. Move in every single direction. There's no right or wrong here. Huh. As long as you move it. <laughs> Good. From here, we're going to straighten the leg. Flex the foot. And we're going to rotate. So rotate that left leg from the hip joint. So we can see the inner part of our knee, inner part of our ankle, bend into the knee, relax the left ankle down to the top of that right thigh, or again, you can just kind of rest the, the Achilles at the top of the knee. Whatever feels most comfortable here. We do want to make sure that the knee is opening up. Okay, so whatever your opening up looks like, again, everyone's practice is different. We're opening up that knee, opening up that hip. If you want a little bit more, you can take your left hand and just gently press away or even use a block. Just give it a little bit more of a distance depending on how you feel. Again, we never want to experience pain, so if we experience pain, just bring it on in.
Two more breaths. And from here, we're gonna just gently guide that left leg over the right. So it's like we're crossing our legs. Again, you can utilize your props for additional support. And you could take that right hand and just slide it across the top of the thigh. So you're getting a little bit more length here. Go ahead and start to come out. Take that right hand to the top of the knee. You're going to guide that leg across. Straighten the leg up. And release. Rest the calf down to the chair. We're going to reset here. Five breaths only. Take the hands to the heart. Find the heartbeat. Notice what your heart does as you inhale. And as you exhale, do you notice that it beats faster or it flutters? Because you're taking the time to do something for yourself. Take the hands down to the ground, and if you need additional support, you can always press the hands down to kind of readjust your body. What we want to do here is just take the legs over to the left side of that support. So if you have the legs on the wall, just kind of bring the legs over to the left side of the wall here. So we're relying more so on that left side body. That right hip somewhat does pop up, okay? Five breaths here again. So we're increasing a little bit of the tension on that back um, left glute area, back left hip. And we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So draw the legs back to center if you need a moment here to kind of wiggle the hips out because I know that was a lot of pressure on that back left hip. Go for it. And then we're gonna make our way, bring both legs over to the right side. Again, five breaths so that left hip does come up. I could put my left hand underneath if you wanna put a block underneath that hip for support. Go for it. And start to release, come back to center. Okay, so while you're here, right, our knees are hip width apart, feet are hip width apart. What we want to do is just lift the calf and the feet off the chair so they're hovering. So if your legs are straight up off the wall, um, on the wall, I do need you to come now and kind of move yourself up. We do want to have our legs, our knees bent at a 90 degree. So our calves are hovering, feet are flexed, toes pointing up to the ceiling. And we're just going to hold here. Draw the belly button up and in. So we're utilizing our core strength here. Push the backbone down to the ground. Feet are flexed. Good. And we're just going to breathe for three, two, and one, then rest the legs for a moment here. Kind of shake the feet out. 
And we're gonna do the same thing. So that's our option one, where you just allow the feet to hover off, uh, the feet and the calves to hover off your support. Round two, option two, I should say, is you're gonna take the hands, the palms of the hands, and you're gonna press, I hope you guys can see, I'm just gonna rise up so you can see. So you're gonna take the hands, to the base of the, th to the tops of the thighs, right? So that's where, right underneath that hip crease. I'm gonna take my hands here and I'm gonna push my hands into my thighs as I allow my calves and my feet to come up off the, the support and I'm pushing my hands into my thighs as my thighs are pushing into my hands. So this is even more core strength here. So we're gonna hold for 20. 19, I know, oh my goodness, 18, it's okay. Keep that 90 degree bend in the knees, 17. And feel the core engage, push the backbone down to the ground, 15, 14, 13, 12. Keep the feet flexed, 11, 10, we're down to the single digits, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, push a little bit more, two, and one, relax. Relax the arms, allow the feet to be supported here. If you're on the wall, you can come back to the wall so legs are straight up. <sighs> and find your butterfly. So feet come together and just rest the knees into the sides of the chair. If you want, you can bring the feet in even closer, allowing the hips to open a little bit more. Whatever feels good, right? Find that proper positioning for you with the placement of the chair. Draw the knees in together. What we're gonna do here is drop the right leg out to the side. So though now the right leg is gonna be on the ground, okay? Straighten the left leg up. From here, take that right hand on the outside, anywhere on the outside of that left leg, and you're gonna push into it. But you keep that left leg grounded where it is. It is a straight line. Imagine it's a beam and you're pushing your hand into the leg. So you can just turn the body slightly. We're not turning too much because we are grounded down on the ground. Right, you can feel it in your core, pulling the belly button in, keeping the backbone on the ground. And then drop, bring the right leg back in. Moment to set, reset. Push the backbone down into the ground. Opposite side here. So straighten the left leg, bring it all down to the ground. That was a good crack in my hip. And then straighten the right leg up, okay? Flex the foot so the toes are pointing toward you. Reach that left hand up anywhere along the outside of that right leg. So you can just be here. And you're just maybe looking out to the side, okay? So you can look to the side, but push that hand gently into the outside of that right leg. So you're twisting, engaging the core. This is great for your digestive, just holding that slight twist of the body. And coming back, bend the knees, rest the feet, and just reset here. We are gonna to start to come out of this. So if you can, push the chair away or the couch. Probably can't push the couch away, but we're gonna draw the legs over to the right side and lay on that right side body. Stay here for three breaths. I'm gonna come off round because I have the mic in my pocket so it doesn't make it that good, okay? So you guys are on your right side, I'm on my left side, but it's the same thing, okay? Knees into the chest. And we're just gonna stay here for a second. Maybe you can take the top arm, find your heartbeat. Just tune in with the body. How's the body feeling? <sighs> take that top hand down to the ground and come to a seated upright position. So I like to extend my top leg out just for leverage so I can come to a seated upright position. All right, wasn't that fun?
<laughs> so different from the other 16 classes we have had with this program. So I'm so thankful to share that with you. Um, we are gonna come into an easy seat. So if you wanna find even more comfort here, you can use a block. Um, I'll actually end up using my scarf and put it underneath the booty so we have some cushion here. We're nice and tall on our sit bones here. Or if you stay on the ground, just kind of move any flesh to the sides. So we're nice and tall here. Roll the shoulders down the back. And whatever leg is on top, whatever leg is on bottom, switch them. That's typically what we always do. So let's do new, let's do different and stay here. So just like the twist that we just did, we're just gonna go a little bit deeper here. So inhale, draw the shoulders back, open the arms out, exhale. So we're just allowing the fingertips to make contact with the ground here. Exhale, inhale back. We're gonna go for a total of five times. So that's two, three. Every inhale back to center. Totally skip that. Last one. So can you go ahead and twist a little bit further, maybe utilizing the couch, the chair behind you to push a little bit further, keyword maybe. Inhale back to center. Exhale, opposite side, last one. So maybe go a little bit further here. Beautiful. From here, shoulders back. We're gonna walk the hands out in front of us. I'm gonna utilize a block to keep my hands up. So maybe you can sink the head down, okay? So what you look like is here. Folding forward, maybe not, right? We're here, folding forward. Okay. Folding over the legs and resting. So if your head's up, that's okay. We we'll work on that shoulder mobility. Relax the head between the window of your arms. Three breaths, wherever you are. If you are like me, where you have your hands on a block, so there is space, what you can do here is bend into the elbows, surrender down, so it's gonna give you a nice tricep stretch. So now we'll start our three reps. So if you wanna try that, okay? If the hands are lifted. Inhale, come on up. Roll the shoulders down the back. We're gonna move the props out to the side. And we're gonna go ahead and lean back into the couch chair, whatever was there to support us, okay? If you were using the wall, now you need a chair, okay? So I'm gonna bring the chair in a little bit. Beep, excuse the noises. And we should straighten the legs out. What I want you to do is just lean into the chair. Hopefully the chair doesn't go anywhere. Hopefully your couch um, does your couch is heavy, right? And what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna rest my arms through the arm, um, the armrest itself. But for you on your couch, you can just rest the arms out to the side. What we're looking to do is really lift our heart out and away from us so we can maybe surrender down. And again, you can utilize a pillow, something to keep the head supported, or if it feels good to drop the head back, just relax back into the, into the chair, whatever your support is. Okay, if it does feel too intense of a back bend because your hips are too close to the chair, bring your hips further away. So it's still gonna allow you to have that back, um, that back bend, the heart opener, but it's just a little bit more gentle. Okay, so honor what you need and just surrender back into it. If it's too much to drop the head back, push your tongue to the top of the mouth. So just that allows you to like not have that nausea kind of lightheaded feeling. So three to five breaths.
Beautiful. We're going to start to come on up, counter pose here, and we're going to fold forward. So you can take a prop. I'll use this. I feel like this will give me a little bit more, right? Because we were opening up. And we're going to close up a little bit. You can take some props to give you some support and just fold forward. Three to five breaths here in the fold. Okay, just make sure your head is not falling forward. Keep the head up. And just surrendering down. And the feet are just passive. We're not trying to control our feet here. Just nice little counter pose for our heart opener. Beautiful. Come on up, get the props out of the way. Good. From here, legs are straight out in front, taking our tree pose. So keep that right leg straight, bend the left knee, taking the bottom of the foot anywhere inside that right leg. Shoulders back, exhale, fold forward. So we're taking our seated tree. If you want a little bit more, you can utilize your strap, bring that strap to the center of the right foot and just applying a bit of pressure, nothing forceful. So we're fold over, getting a little deeper stretch into the calf. And if it feels too uncomfortable, you can slightly bend that right knee. Okay, so I have a slight bend in my knee. Fold forward. Three to five times every inhale, you rise up. Every exhale, you fold forward. And if you notice, if you want to bring the foot in a little bit closer, that's okay. Good. And switch a row. So straighten the left leg, bend the right leg. Okay, upright, shoulders back. Exhale, fold over. Again, you can have a slight bend of that left leg. The reason why we have a slight bend of the knee is so we're not pulling on our back. If you want to incorporate your strap, feel free to do so. Every inhale up. Every exhale down. Straighten the legs out, shake the legs out. And this is a fun one, this is like origami. So bend the right knee a little bit and we're gonna slide that left foot underneath. I hope you guys can see this at home. So the right knee's bent just a little bit and we're gonna bring that left foot underneath us. So now that knee is bent, that left foot is just equal to that right heel. And then from here, you can just draw this right leg in. Okay, you can stay here. Let's try that first and then we'll give you the more intense option, okay? So lift the left hand up and you can hug with the right arm into that right leg. Reach the right arm up, curl the pinky finger in toward you so we're not reaching with the shoulder, okay? Curl the pinky finger in and we're gonna twist over to the side. Can you hook the elbow to the top of the knee? Right hand's gonna come back behind you and just hold you like a statue. Let's find complete stillness here. Our sit bones are rooted down to the earth. Spine is nice and long all the way up to the crown of the head, reaching up toward the sky, toward the ceiling. Notice, while we just stay here like a statue, if you can continue to twist a little bit further back. Beautiful. So maybe you're turning your head to look back at that right shoulder. But if you do turn your head, we want to find the length. Don't turn your head like this, okay? Keep the head up, and we're turning literally the head. Okay? Coming up, taking the hands down in front of that left thigh and just surrender down. So you feel a nice stretch here in that right side body, right here in this area. You can bring the blocks under the hands to bring the floor up toward you. That's okay. 
and then we're going to switch. So straighten that right leg out, bring the left leg out of there, slight bend of the left knee, right foot's going to go underneath, cross, bring that right foot to the left side, left hip. And you can draw that left leg in toward you and reach that left hand up, spin the pinky fingers in so we're not engaging in the shoulder. And we're going to turn torso, hook the elbow. Maybe just stay here and look at your hand. <laughs> All right, or twist it, take that left hand back behind you, open up that left shoulder. I'm going to turn sideways for you guys. So we're here, and we're opening up, okay? So the feet as, stay as they are, and we're pushing the arm into the leg, twisting back. Then keep the head up. If you do turn the head, we're literally turning the head, not losing the space, that length in our neck here. I hope you could see, right? So I still have this length. I'm not here. I'm still up. And I'm pushing. I'm gonna come back to center, counter pose. Take the hands over. It's like a little wave, right? Hey. <laughs> Take the hands down and surrender down here. Just about three breaths. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, but just maybe a little bit more intense. Just try it, okay? So we have the bend of the right knee, and then bring that left leg underneath us, okay? Maybe you can cross it a little bit more, maybe, so that right foot is gonna go to the other side. So we have a foot at each hip, okay? So it looks kind of weird. So I'll do it again just for you guys at home. My right knee is bent. My left foot, just like we did before, my left foot's gonna slide underneath. I'm gonna draw this left foot back as far as I can, and I'm gonna draw the right foot in towards me, but watch. It's gonna cross over, oh my goodness, over that left knee. Same thing we just did with the arms, okay? We just, a little bit more of a pretzel here, right? So we have, right foot next to left uh, left hip and then what is this my left foot next to my right hip okay so same thing here reach the arms up spin the pinky fingers in and press the arm away so this is making me twist open okay you can take your hand down to the prop behind you notice how i'm being extra don't be extra unless you need to unless you really feel the opening of the chest and the shoulders and the twist right so i'm pushing with my left arm into the lake and I'm reaching my arm back on the couch or to the chair and I'm pushing into it. So I'm getting a little bit more of a twist here. Please don't get hurt and call your doctor right after this session. Nice and slow. It's a beginner series. Remember keeping everything engaged. We're pushing this hand and we're pushing the back hand, that right hand into the object, keeping the length in the neck, right? I hope you can see this and turning the head. Coming back to center, counter pull, surrender down. Feel a stretch in the side body. And if you want a little bit more here, so how I just kind of drop my knee down, you can drop the knee down. Take the hands to the tops of the ankles, push down, shoulders back, and fold forward. This is such a juicy stretch, okay? If you don't get the fold, that's okay. You just stay here and be like, oh, one day I'll get it. Okay, so push the hand down into the feet. Again, nothing forceful. If there's pain, you stop. And you slightly fold forward, so you really feel it here in that back of that right thigh. Two more breaths. Right, and a gentle version of this, just for that last breath. Gentle version is bring your block, your pillow, whatever you have as support, and find your fold here. Bing, that's it. Okay, and unwind yourself. We're gonna do the other side. Keep the bend of the left leg. 
bring that right foot underneath and try to get it as much as you can so that right foot is next to left hip, okay? If you want the more intense option, what we just did, or you do the other one, we would just bring it in here, okay? More intense option, we're gonna bend the knee more, but bring the left foot along the top side of that right thigh, okay? Keep the knee upright. We're not gonna do the fold yet. Reach that right hand up, spin the pinky fingers in, and turn torso, hook the elbow at the top of the thigh, and press again. So from me pressing here, I'm turning my body, okay? And you can take the hand down to the ground if you want a little bit more. Take the hand behind you, press into the prop wall, whatever is behind you. Maybe there's a baby behind you, push into the baby. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, don't. Unless there's really a baby there and it's funny, but like gentle. <laughs> oh, I have such a weird sense of humor. For those of you that this is your first class with me, so you know how um, if you go to the grocery store and like you get a sale price item and it's like, oh, rain check, we'll give you a rain check. So on Easter, I taught a class and I was like, you know, if you want to do this pose, you can do it or you can come back to it later, like a rain check. And because it was Easter, I was like, instead of rain check, I was like, egg check. So yeah, one student was dying laughing. That's just my personality, guys. So now you know who I am. Last two breaths, press a little bit further. So again, we're pressing the arm into the top of the leg and reaching back and turning the head, keeping length in the neck. Beautiful and releasing sunrise. Coming down, surrender two breaths. Okay, and then again, we're gonna do our fold here. Relax the leg, bring that foot back behind you. Take your props, whatever you have, pillow, blanket, bring it right into that space, rest the torso on top of the props. This feels amazing just like this. You don't even have to take the hands to the feet, okay? And push the hands down into the ankles. This is if you want that more intense option and you have the capability to fold forward. Again, you want to feel the stretch coming from the back of that left thigh. Shoulders back, just gently guiding the feet down into the mat, folding forward. Two more breaths. Surrendering down. Rise on up. And then we're going to open out. Spin the legs over to the side. Beep. Get everything out of the way. We're going to go and lay on your back. Knees are bent. Feet are flat on the floor. Take the arms down to the sides. So maybe the fingertips graze the heels. Keyword, maybe, maybe not. If they're all the way over there, that's okay. Push all four corners of the feet down to the ground. Fingertips grazing the heels. And just look at my shoulders. My shoulders are here, and I'm going to push them back. So my heart is not lifting. Press down into the ground. Lift the hips up here. Engage the glutes. Imagine there's a thread on the belly button, lifting the hips up even higher. We're going to hold here for five. Four, press the shoulders back. Three, two, and one. Make your way back down. And again, we're gonna rest our backbone, our lumbar spine on the ground. So if I try to put my hands underneath, they won't go. And just open the feet out wider. So heel to them out, so the knees touch. We're just gonna stay here for a moment. Two breaths. Let a pause and reflect in today's class. We're gonna go ahead and bring the feet back, feet hip width apart, making our way back into the bridge, press the shoulders down, press the palms down. And same thing, we're gonna hold for five. Feel the feet pressing down into the ground, shoulders back, lift the hips up even higher. Keep the knees about hip width apart. Two. 
And one, make your way back down to the ground. Keep the feet where they are, or windshield wiper the knees to the left and to the right. Come back to stillness. Walk the feet in toward each other. And you can use your props, your blocks, your pillows, and rest the knees coming into butterfly pose. Hands to the belly button, pressing that backbone down to the ground. And even though the hands are on the belly, allow the elbows to melt down, allow the shoulders to melt down. Close the eyes, relax the muscles in the face. And give yourself a smile today for showing up, doing the work. And then release your smile. And go ahead and do that again, but I want you to bring awareness. So as you smile, you engage the muscles, not only in the front of the face, but in the back of the head. So I want you to acknowledge that on your next two smiles. So smile big. <laughs> and let it go. Beautiful, take the hands to the heart. We're gonna close out our practice today with one deep cleansing breath in. Stay where you are. One regular breath. And then we're gonna breathe deep into the pit of the belly. Into the chest. Into the throat. Exhale, let it go. May your thoughts, words, and actions stem from your heart. As always, thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Any comments, questions, concerns, feel free to reach out um, and tune in for next week's class, week seven. And keep in mind, it's only a 10-week series, okay? So until next time. 